Welcome back. The much awaited map series is here and we are talking about the fourth series for this year where we would be focusing on the important map locations based on the contemporary happenings. So 20 locations for today. The first is the Kevdia railway station. Now Kevdia railway station has been established in line with the Statue of Unity on the uh, in the region of Gujarat. So you have the Kevdia railway station which has come up here. A very important location, very very important and uh, you also also have the regions of Narda that would be highly affected and developed because of this railway station. It's just three kilometers from the Statue of Unity. The next is Muradabad, Saharanpur and Firozabad. Now Saharanpur is known for wooden artifact, Muradabad for brass and Firozabad for glass that's very very famous. So all of those have been important hubs for the Indian artifact industry mainly the handicrafts and this was part of your Yojana. So again important locations. Why Muradabad, Saharanpur and Firozabad have been famous. The next are some of the common arts and the practices that are seen in the regions of Rajasthan. So in Jaipur you have exotic quilts that is seen. Uh, in the regions of Jodhpur you have wooden work and wrought iron work that is seen. And Bagru and Sanganer you have uh, kind of printed textiles that is commonly seen. Uh, also, in the regions of Kutch in Gujarat, you have embroidered ha handicrafts that are seen and in the regions of Andhra Pradesh, you have lace uh, handicrafts in Narsingpur, uh, Narsarpur that was seen. The next is the regions of uh, Northeast. So you have Gohati with cane and bamboo, uh, Boingaon again in Assam with cane and bamboo, you have Lakhanpur again in uh, Assam, so three locations, uh, Boingaon. Gohati and Lakhimpur with that are famous. Then you have Agartala and Neharhat. Both of those are again famous in Tripura. Uh, so Nelaha, uh, Nelaghar and uh, Agartala, both of those again famous for cane and bamboo. Uh, most of the manufacturing is mainly for decorative items, jewelry manufacturing, lamp stands and so on. Then you have uh, uh, the monastery which is seen uh, in the region of Gangtok and most of the wood carvings that are seen are in the regions of Tirap in Arunachal Pradesh. So Pangistian monastery and Tirap, two important locations that have been covered here. So this monastery in Sikkim is a uh, work of the wooden carvings that are seen and also wooden carving is a very famous hobby in the regions of Arunachal Pradesh and Tirap where Vanchu uh, basically practice this wooden carving. The next is Karim Nagar and Katak. Now you have the filigree arts that are seen. So silver works at Karim Nagar and Katak again you have the silver work that is seen. Also for this you have silver wires, copper, charcoal and dilute sulfuric acid that is required for this work of silver jerry or filigree that is known as. Uh, Akshar Khandi is the location that is seen mainly for the pottery and clay work and it is one of the biggest clusters in India in the region of Assam. So Ashari Khandi is very very important. Another major centers are spread across India. So you have Kohima in Nagaland, you have Jaipur in Rajasthan, then you have uh, Sambhal, Muradabad, Delhi are some of the other locations where you have Akshara, Aksh, Akshari Khandi that is seen. The next is Kalsi. Kalsi is located in Uttarakhand. Now Kalsi uh, in Uttarakhand is one of the major centers for promoting agricultural cooperation that has come up with Brazil. Then you have the Central Agricultural University and the Krishi Vigyan Kendra which have been established at Mut Mutrehati and uh, Motihari is one of the major centers for uh, the agricultural university in Uttar Pradesh. Sholapur, Tuljapur and Osmanabad very very important. Tuljapur you have another campus for Tata, Tata Institute of Social Sciences that have come up and the four leaning of this section has recently been done. Lachin in Sikkim is important location because here recently there was a landslide and therefore this location is important. A lot of rhododendrons have been grown in this region. You have Bagalpur da, uh, Danga region in West Bengal and here you have the Santal Adivasi tribal community that is mainly seen. The forest area is Sojanhari and that's one of the uh, regions very much close to the bird century that lies here. Uh, Raghurajpur 
रघुराजपुर इन उड़ीसा इज़ वेरी वेरी फेमस फॉर पचित्र पेंटिंग पचित्र पेंटिंग इज़ वन ऑफ द मेजर पेंटिंग्स मेजर आर्ट्स ऑफ उड़ीसा एंड अगे अगेन यू हैव गोतीपुआ ट्रा डांस विच इज़ सीन एज वन ऑफ द क्लासिकल डांसेज ऑफ उड़ीसा कुकनूर इज अनदर कुनूर इज अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट लोकेशन सॉरी सो कुनूर यू हैव द पाशर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया विच इज़ पी आई आई दैट हैज़ बीन एस्टैब्लिश यू हैव न्यू वायरल वैक्सीनेशन विच हैव बीन प्रपोज एट द कुनूर यूनिट इन तमिलनाडु द नेक्स्ट इज धूले नारदान एंड जलगांव उंदना रेलवे स्टेशन सो यू हैव धूले जलगांव विच इज़ हियर एंड उंदना नर उन्ना नरदाना रीजन सो यू हैव द दूले नरदाना रीजन सॉरी दूले नरदाना रीजन एंड द जलगांव उन्ना रीजन विच इज देयर एंड यू हैव मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड रेलवे लाइंस दैट हैव कम अप इन दिस रीजन न्यू फूड पार्क हैज़ बीन एस्टैब्लिश इन द रीजन ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड दैट इज द गोदावरी मेगा एक्वा फूड पार्क विच हैज़ बीन एस्टैब्लिश इन द वेस्ट गोदावरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द तुंदुरू रीजन सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव चित्तूर एंड कृष्णा सो चित्तूर वॉज द फर्स्ट मेगा फूड पार्क दैट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश एंड रिसेंटली यू हैव इन द कृष्णा डिस्ट्रिक्ट यू हैव द थर्ड मेगा प्लान दैट हैज़ बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड बदावल इज अगेन अ फूड पार्क दैट हैज़ बीन एस्टैब्लिश इन द रीजन ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश सो बदावल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अ न्यू लोकेशन दैट हैज़ बीन रिसेंटली टॉक्ड अबाउट विलेज सिंघा इन ऊना एरिया ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट फूड पार्क बीन एस्टैब्लिश इन द रीजन ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश सो लॉट ऑफ फूड पार्क एज इट वॉज पार्ट ऑफ द कुरुक्षेत्र दिस टाइम हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड ईटा नगर यू हैव द न्यू एयरपोर्ट दैट हैज़ बीन फाउंडेड देन यू हैव गार्जी एंड बेलियोना वेर यू हैव द न्यू रेलवे लाइन दैट हैज़ बीन लेड इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव ग्रीन फील्ड एयरपोर्ट विच विल बी द हॉलिंग दैट वुड बी एस्टैब्लिश एंड द नियरेस्ट एयरपोर्ट टू ईटा नगर इज एट प्रेजेंट एट लीलाबारी इन आसाम so itanagar would be a new airport that would be established and the airport would reduce definitely the distance that has to be traveled dikrong river is very very important at dikrong river you have the pare hydroelectric power project that has been established now dikrong is a tributary of brahmaputra flowing through the regions of arunachal pradesh watering the areas of the nearby arunachal pradesh area now uh, these were some of the major Uh, major topics of map location based on Yojana Kurukshetra and the recent developments that we have covered. We'll be taking many more classes on uh, map location before your examination. So stay tuned for the updates. And also the online course has been running. The details are available below, so you can just check out the link. Have a wonderful day ahead.